What's up, guys and gals? So this flare lit candlelight dinner. Okay, flare light dinner. Where we're a flare light. Dude, that's a dope name. Someday I'm gonna make a company. It's gonna be called Flare Light Industries. Dude, that's what's up. That shit sounds so dope. Hey, welcome back to the long dark. My name is Splattercat. Uh, we are gonna be finishing up this playthrough today, assuming that a bear doesn't eat us. Assuming that a bear doesn't eat us, we should be in pretty solid shape to round this one off today. So what I'd like to do for right now is we're just going to eat. We're going to get our calories all nice and stacked up so that we don't have to worry about that tomorrow. That's also going to lower our weight down so that we can move a little bit quicker because without a doubt, the bear is going to be on us today. It's going to be on us hard. We actually are a little bit low on water. I'm surprised by that. I probably should have taken water out of the toilet at that last place we were in but just didn't think about it. I'm going to pass like three hours. That's perfectly fine. Come on, get done. And as soon as that's all finished off, we'll go back through. We'll drink a little bit of that. And she's actually pretty sleepy right now. We're going to go for 10 hours of sleep. That should refill most of our meter. The last day was really, really rough on our character. We hiked a long, long ways with a big weight on our back. So, uh, she... Oh, wow, she's still not rested. She just needs water, though. All right, let's get you unparched. Let's also crack open some tomato soup. I love tomato soup, but when I have tomato soup, when I have tomato soup, I have to, have to, have to... I'm not sure what just happened right there. I think it just took its sweet-ass time. When I have tomato soup, though, I have to have grilled cheese. Gotta have grilled cheese. It's the two things I always want together. Tomato soup and grilled cheese. Oh, it was opening the can. It just moved the meter. Coo, coo, coo. We got a little bit of hydration stuff left. Let's drop that so that the weight's no longer an issue. Sounds like the weather is complete and utter shit outside, but let's go have a look. Yep. Minus 32. There you go. That's that uh, kill me now, please weather. Good lord. Let's give it a couple hours. We're not going to be able to sleep forever, but... Oh, it still counts as nighttime. So I woke up fully rested. Let's pass an hour and see if this storm goes away. That storm is not messing around. Holy shit. I've never actually seen a day this bad in the long dark. This has got to be some kind of triggered thing for our playthrough, maybe. I don't know. It's a rough one. It's a rough one. A thick wool sweater. We might be able to make use of that. we got some cedar firewood over here, which actually we may have to boil off some water, too. So I wouldn't turn down any resources that are that are free here. Nothing on the shelves, nothing in the bed area, a little bit of beef jerky right there. Nothing in there. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, I was hoping we get some... There we go, an orange soda would be nice. It will definitely end up being useful if we get stuck here for a day or two trying to wait this out. Let's go ahead and we'll sleep for an hour. I'm envious of people who can just, like, lay down and sleep. I'm not one of those people. Like, if I lay down for, like, a two-hour nap, I either need to go out for the next eight hours, or I need to not go out at all. Sounds a little better now, although I think it's probably still storming. Yeah, it's still pretty chilly, although not nearly as bad as it was previously. It's definitely not that bad. Okay. So with the dry mouth, how many sodas do I have? Just a couple. We'll use those for right now because I don't want to boil water. There we go. Now then, having a look around to see what's inside this place. Still haven't found that many pants. A weird lack of pants in this area. So apparently before the storm hit, it stole everybody's pants because it's a vindictive monster like that. Just a vindictive asshole. How much wood am I carrying around with me out of curiosity? I definitely don't need an extra axe. I'm carrying around a lot of stuff right now that just functionally has no use to us at the moment. So I'm carrying around an extra axe. I have no wood. Okay, so I'm woodless at the moment. Let's break down a crate very quickly. 
And my intent there is to get a little bit of extra wood so that if I have to start a fire, I can start a fire to boil off some water. This is the weather we're probably waiting for, so I think we should set out. I don't think we should wait around too much. I'm going to have a little look here, though, to see if our friend the bear is around. There is another shelter this way if we need it. Sorry, I'm listening for the bear's footsteps. I don't mean to go silent on you, but we're pretty close to the home stretch right now, and losing at this point would be just a giant... It would be a heartbreak. I would legitimately be upset with myself. I would not be happy with losing at this point. I would be salty as all hell, so I'd prefer to avoid it. If I can make up for it by just being careful, that's what I'm going to do. Well, so far, no bear. It's not that cold. It's cold enough to where we are getting colder, but it's not cold enough to really mess up our day. And I'm of the opinion that today is probably not going to warm up that well Anyways, if I was the developers and I was designing this to be a challenge for the players, I would make it so this zone is just a shit fest. It's just a blizzard shitstorm of snow nonstop the entire time. And so I, I, I've got to think that somebody else probably thought that same thought too. And so I'm just going to stay away from it for right now. We can run. Running's an option, although I don't want to come around any corners and find myself bared up. Backpack, weirdly uncovered, given the fact that we just had a snowstorm. So I think the Hunter's Lodge is like that way, I think. We can go up to the, we can go up right here actually, pretty easily. We can go up to the Farmer's Lodge, or I'm sorry, the Ranger's Cabin. But for now, I don't really see the point. Instead, I'll probably hook around here. We'll watch for the... Watch for the smoke up above the ridge line. And I think coming over this hill actually puts us pretty close to the, the Hunter's Lodge. Like, I don't think we're ridiculously close, but I'm pretty sure we're in the vicinity right now. I don't normally come to the Hunter's Lodge from this angle, so I may be off by a couple of meters. It is very, very possible. Okay, so my bearing was slightly off. Although we do have shelter over here if we need it, so... That's good. These two, I think we're along the southern end of the map right now. As far as I recall. And if we are along the southern edge of the map, my guess would be... Going one of these old directions will probably work out for us. We'll see. It worst case is that I loop around the map back to the railroad tracks and then I find it from the side that I'm used to. So that's the lake. So we're definitely on the south side of the map right now. Normally there's wolves or something around here and yes indeed there is one right there. Nope, never mind. That's a stump. It's just a very wolf-shaped stump. It looked like it was moving slightly because I was moving. Is there anything up in and over here? How's our luck? Nothing. Dead guys. Nothing on dead guys. Pork and beans right there. Pork and beans are kind of hit or miss for me. Sometimes I like pork and beans and sometimes I don't. Like, I really, really, really like chili. Like, any type of chili makes me happy. But pork and beans tends to be considered something slightly different. Pork and beans is where you've got, like, maple beans and all that kind of stuff. It's too sweet for me, actually. I think that's what gets me with the maple beans and the uh, and the hot dogs or whatever they put inside of it. It's just too sweet for me. Oh, 
Oh shit, I keep thinking we're in the vicinity. And then I keep realizing that I thought wrong. I may have to loop around and go from the direction I'm used to. I thought when I came over this hill it was going to be What's-His-Name's Folly right about here. Actually, no. It's this way, I think. I think. Ah, shit. Not a lot of stamina left, and the wolf picked an unfortunate trajectory for his escape. But... Is that the spot I'm thinking it is? Maybe. It is the spot I was thinking it is. Okay. That fallen down log. I find it all the time when I'm wandering out here. And every time I see that fallen log, I'm just like, Oh! Landmark! I know exactly where we're going. So this should be the place where we get our gun. And provided the bear is not a big old furry bitch, we should be able to get ourselves settled in right now with the gun and shoot this damn thing. So the trapper's house. Good, good, good. Inside, the gun will more than likely be on the mantle. Which I think was one of the default spawns back in the day when the game first came out. This place is normally very much stocked up with everything you could ever want. To be continued... Oh, it's part one. Jesus, I thought we actually were going to take the gun and shoot the bear. Aw, oh, I got all excited, too. That was it? Damn. So it took us seven days, four hours, and 33 minutes to make our way through. That was largely due to a couple of storms that were a giant pain in our ass. I will probably do the hunted part two very, very soon. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. My name is Splattercat. This is The Long Dark. I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I very much like this game. If you enjoyed this series, please consider supporting me through the Patreon that's down below. YouTube has made some weird algorithmic changes to the way the website works. And ever since then, things have gotten a little bit harder for all of your favorite content creators. So aside from that, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for stopping in. Bye, everybody.